Oh. Well, this would be nice. All along, I thought I was recording, but I was not. So yesterday, I went by my girlfriend's house, and from her garden, I got these beautiful collard greens. Look at that. These greens are so gorgeous. This mountain of collard greens, I'm going to braise them with some stock. I cook my collard greens with either chicken stock or vegetable stock. I usually don't add any kind of meat to it, but you can. Oftentimes, hum, hops, they'll add that to the collard green to give it flavor. But I like to flavor my collard greens with actually vegetable, root vegetables from the onion family, garlic, shallots, onions, and cook them down really, really nice. Um, the other thing I do when I'm making collards, I do a light... A very thin shred which I take uh, the leaves and I stack a couple of them on top of each other and then use my knife to go across horizontally to cut fine thinly uh, shredded leaves it's called a chiffonade um, the culinary term for it but it allows this very fibrous vegetable very tough vegetable uh, to cook a little bit faster and and it's softer when it's cooked so this is the treatment I'm going to give I grow a potted uh, a, a potted garden outside which I have not paid any attention to over the last couple of months and all my herbs have dried up uh, the only thing that is still surviving is my chai this baby will not die no matter what I do or do not do to it. She's a very, very strong girl. And she's the only thing that is left of this potted herb and vegetable garden that I usually have. I grow bell peppers. I grow tomatoes. I've even grown Swiss chard. Um, but lately I've been preoccupied with other stuff and my garden have totally dried up. But I figure uh, I will refresh, replenish, and reset this garden for 2021. I'm going to do a reset on my garden, among other things, for the new year. So right now, there's nothing going on in this garden, potted garden. But it will get a restart in the coming weeks right in time for the new year so i'm going to go back and i'm going to do a, a chiffonade on this collard green and then i'm going to braise it using chicken stock to get some flavor and some chives and a bit of garlic well lots of garlic and cook this down so thank you, Angie, for the gift of the collard greens from your garden. I will certainly enjoy this and share this with you as well. What are you all growing in your garden, whether it's a potted garden or it's a backyard garden? Look at these babies. All right, so I'm going to post a finish uh, dish of the collards when I'm done along with this video have a soul food sunday you guys no matter what you're making in your kitchen enjoy from my kitchen to yours diva luscious coming to you you know your chef barbara cooking diva talk to you soon bye this collard greens deserve to be on a pedestal i got these greens from my girlfriend backyard Gave it a simple treatment of root vegetable from the onion family. I used shallots, onion, and garlic. Chiffonade, the leaves of the collard greens, which is to cut the leaves, remove the members fibrin in the center, stack the leaves, roll them in a log, and cut them very, very finely horizontally. It's called a chiffonade. It allows the vegetable to cook so much faster. And uh, I braise them with onion, shallots, 
garlic, a little bit of butter, some chicken stock, and I'm doing a treatment to finish it off with some sharp uh, white cheddar just to go on top to add that bit of salty taste to it. Um, I don't usually add any kind of meat to my uh, greens, but I certainly add a stock, sometimes a vegetable stock, sometimes I add a chicken stock. Today I added a chicken stock and voila, this is the finished dish of my backyard collard greens from my girlfriend Angie. Shout out to Angie T. Thank you for these greens and I'll bring some uh, tomorrow for you girl. You deserve to taste some of this goodness that came from your garden.